turn yourself in to give closure, not just to me, but to my siblings, my nieces and nephews. It's tough to hear a daughter pleading for answers tonight, hoping for a break in her father's murder case. It's been more than two years since Jesus Pena, a father of six and a grandfather, was shot and killed in a Little Rock apartment complex. KRK4, Susan Alcori joins us now. And Susan, the family very concerned that this case is going to stay cold. Yeah, Hillary, there were a couple witnesses, but investigators haven't been able to track down whoever pulled the trigger. So the family hopes someone will come forward and help bring their dad justice. The doctor comes in and detective comes in and they're holding a bag full of clothes. I just knew. I, I just, it was surreal. Standing in this spot, it's hard for Lupe Pena de Martinez to hide her emotions. All I could picture was my grandmother receiving my dad in heaven. Inside this Little Rock apartment is where her father, Jesus Pena, was shot during a robbery gone wrong. There was no reason to kill him. It's been more than two years since police surrounded the building at the intersection of Taylor and B Street. The 59-year-old was on a construction job when someone else walked in. There's a guy standing there. And my dad lifts the shovel to defend himself and gets shot multiple times and falls and then he's robbed and the guy walks out. Without any answers, Lupe keeps pleading for justice. I don't know how this person lives knowing every day that they tore a family apart for a few bucks and a cell phone. Finding strength for her fight in an unlikely place. Just imagine if this were your loved one, what would you want? If you know anything. Please come forward. Forever reminded, even that won't replace all her family lost. And I've done a lot of praying, and I do forgive this person, but that doesn't make it any easier. Police have described the suspect as a male, 20 to 25 years old, and about 5'10 with a thin mustache. The family tells me they hope to offer a ward for information leading to an arrest. Back to you. We hope they can find closure. Thank you, Susan.